This Mendix Minutes will provide a simple example of how to use the Excel exporter module. The first step is to review documentation for this module in the Mendix docs. After doing that, I see that the prerequisite module is the model reflection module. Looking in my app, I have model reflection and I've also added the Excel exporter. That module is called XLS report. Finally, I've added a small entity called Excel example with three attributes, and I've added a page to my app that has the Excel example entity on it. If I look at navigation, you can see that I have the Excel exporter page from the Excel exporter module, the model reflection page from that module, and my Excel example page. So if I now switch over to my app, what I'll see in the Excel example page is that I have three rows in my small table. If I go to Excel exporter, the first step is to create an export template, which will tell Mendix what information to include in an exported Excel file. I'm gonna call this test Excel file. Uh, you can see that there are a number of options here. I won't cover too many of these. The first step that I need to do to export information is add a worksheet. I can add multiple worksheets, but for this example, I'll just add a single one. This will be called worksheet one. The objects that I'm going to export in this worksheet are the Excel example objects. And I'm going to go ahead and add some columns. So my first column is going to be the string attribute. The second column is going to be the integer attribute. And the final column will be the decimal attribute. And I will choose a default style for these columns. And once I've done that, I can save my worksheet and now save my Excel export template. I'll go back to the exporter page you can see my new template that I've created. If I select that template and say create report, I will get a file generated and downloaded to my computer with the three rows in here. You can see that I selected column one for my first attribute. If I had selected column zero, the information would start in column A. And uh, just to demonstrate how this might look as my information changes, I'll add a new row here to my entity. I'll come back to the exporter page and click Create Report again. And you'll see that the new file now has four rows. So it has my new row in it. Hope this video has been helpful.